Moving with families, particularly young children, can amplify already high stress levels. Children often find their emotional and mental stability challenged when their environment changes. And that's not just young children. Teens and young adults can also struggle. So how you navigate your upcoming move can make a significant difference in the eyes of your family. Encouraging your family to engage in unique and memorable activities during this time can help alleviate anxiety. And it's not just about using fun to reduce stress. Celebrations and commemorative events can be instrumental in teaching children how to accept closure, adapt to change, and enhance their mental and emotional resilience. So, here are three ideas on how to help children during a move and help families moving with kids mark the occasion. Now, they'll remember these as times they had fun and hopefully be ready to start a new chapter in their life. Once the movers are done or you finish packing, You'll find yourself in an empty house. Now that might look bare, but it's probably still full of memories. The house is like a scrapbook of your life, holding on to moments that were shared with your family. Each room might have a story to tell, reminding you of when the house was full of life and noise. Now setting aside some time to remember and honor these memories is a good idea. You could plan a family gathering where everyone shares their favorite things about the house. It could be a quiet corner where you love to read or in the kitchen where you bake cookies during the holidays but each family member could point out places that hold special memories for them, turning that emptiness into a gallery of fond recollections. Better yet, why not capture the essence of your beloved home with a video? Imagine walking through the house one last time, pointing out the favorite spots and sharing stories. Each room can have its own tale, from the kitchen that hosted countless holiday meals to the backyard where summer barbecues with close friends were held. And this video could be a keepsake that allows you to revisit your old home anytime you wish, keeping a piece of it with you even after you've moved on. Now, one of my favorite memories from my childhood comes from a particular family tradition that we did during each of our moves. It was unconventional, but it was exciting and memorable. On our first night in the new home, before the movers arrived with our belongings, we would set up sleeping bags or air mattresses in the empty rooms. And it made the unfamiliar surroundings seem less daunting and more like an adventure. Now, while it wasn't exactly a night filled with luxurious sleep, it was always one that I anticipated and long remembered. It was a perfect beginning to a new chapter. It helped the new home seem like something to look forward to, even though I was still apprehensive about the future. Now, this empty house sleepover could be transformed into an enchanting indoor camp out for some families. Because visualize this, in your new empty living room, it can become your family's private campground. You could fill the space with the sound of your favorite songs, creating a concert in the open rooms of your new dwelling. Storytelling could be another highlight, with each family member sharing ghost stories or thrilling adventures, their voices reverberating in the vacant space around them. And to bring the authentic camping experience indoors, you could consider making s'mores in the microwave. It's a quirky take on a traditional campfire snack, but it's fitting for this unique family event. Moving to a new home can be a whirlwind, particularly when professional movers are involved. Now, many people who've used moving services often remark on the speed and efficiency of the movers on moving day. It's like a well choreographed dance with boxes and furniture swiftly disappearing from one home and reappearing in another. Now for younger kids, decorating boxes could be a fun activity involving colorful stickers or expressive crayon doodles. It's a chance for them to add their personal mark on their belongings, creating a visual representation of this is mine. School age or older children, on the other hand, could be challenged to create unique art on the boxes. It could serve as an indicator of what's inside the box or maybe just whose belongings it contains. It's not just about marking territory, but about tangibly expressing identity and creativity. Once you've unpacked all those moving boxes, don't be too quick to toss them aside. Instead, why not turn the cardboard chaos into a source of entertainment and family bonding? Building a box for it or several can be an incredibly fun and memorable pulse move activity. And if you happen to find a couple of Nerf guns amidst the unpacking, you might even spark an impromptu friendly Nerf war. When constructing the ultimate box fort, here are some tips to remember. And I'm proud to say that all my years of experience in the moving industry come to bear here to give you the ultimate box fort guide. 
Dish bag boxes typically used to pack kitchen items are usually the sturdiest due to their size and construction, and they make an excellent choice for the base of your fork. Lay them on their side to create a sturdy foundation. Wardrobe boxes are another awesome option for creating large roomy spaces. Just remember, tape up the flaps to ensure they maintain their shape. Now next, you gotta think about the fort's walls. Medium and small boxes are perfect for this. Stack them, arrange them, you can even create crenellations for an imposing fortress look. With enough boxes, you could design intricate layouts with multiple rooms and passageways. And finally, remember a roof to protect against mortar barrages of balls or other ranged attacks. Once unpacked and flattened, mirror cartons can serve as excellent roofing materials. You might need to tape several cartons together to make it reach across the fort. Make sure you have some form of support in the middle to prevent sagging. Attach the roof to the battlements, drape it over the top, and voila, you have a cardboard castle ready for a family adventure. This activity turns what could be a tedious task, dealing with empty boxes, into a fun family memory for your new home. Now, moving, especially with a family, can feel like a stressful upheaval. So this article has outlined some practical and fun ways for families to navigate this challenging time, making the experience more enjoyable, less daunting. From farewell events of the old house to unique celebrations in the new one, families can find solace in creating lasting memories amidst the chaos of a move. Now, full service moving companies are helpful in this process. They provide efficient services to make that transition smoother. And this efficiency allows you to focus on spending time with the people who need you most and craft fun activities along the way, instead of hours of packing, loading, and unloading. But even if using movers or a moving company isn't right for you, engaging children in activities like decorating boxes or building box forts, if you do that, parents can help children feel more involved and secure during the move. And it's crucial to remember that every move signifies a new beginning. So with the right approach, it can be an exciting adventure filled with anticipation and joy.